hi guys <coughs> welcome back to my channel sharing knowledge in this video i'm going to show you how to make a windows xp sp3 bootable dvd with image burn maybe a lot of way for the this making this bootable dvd but uh, I, I i i think the perfect video video is good for you that's why I'm making this. So how to make Windows XP SP3 bootable DVD with image burn. You can make easily the way all you need a ISO file, need a XP3 boot boot file, the operating system booting file, the boot boot image file. Okay. The perfect video for you. That's why I'm making this. How to make Windows XP SP3 bootable DVD with image burn. This link you will get the ISO file, the operating system file, ISO file. You will get this link. Okay. <coughs> but you need a image burn software on WinRAR and Windows XP ISO file or Windows XP boot file must you need extracted file ISO extracted folder okay here is the windows xp extracted file you need this okay now first you go to download this link windows xp xp3 you will get this link download this ISO file set a drive you will get here ok you will get here download option I have already there ok you can choose here and you need a, next you need a image burn www.imageburn.com you see this you will get here dot com and next you click here to download option and you will get this link you can choose this last one the provided by image one okay you will get here now you get the windows iso xp3 is file and uh, image burn and you need a winrar you can see i will put the you will get this description with a video then you will get the link okay and rar lab the winrar then you get the download option click here then you will get this option you can choose 64 bit yes 32 bit as you like and next if you need a windows xp you you need must a windows xp boot file then you go to this link http thingspot in com. you will get here a lot of download options you can easy for my video or download here this is a windows xp professional sv3 boot disk file you will get here the boot file okay image boot image file you will get here and if you need a windows xp serial key you will get here more options where see this windows xp sp3 product key you can choose after you can choose this product key with your burning your making bootable disk key bootable dvd sp xp3 
then you need sometimes a product key you will get here okay now this comfortable for perfect this video for you and now okay all are here you will get there now go so you go to extracted file this is windows x psp 3 here for iso file or open with a winrar and you get the you put the right right here the option folder and then you will get the option click here and click okay then you will get the extracted file okay now <coughs> open image bin sometimes you click here to the installing time is you will get this next click next now no need this the cancel this and click next okay now this windows image image but okay Now you have more options here. You making the CD to your so Windows XP CD to I making ISO file or ISO file to make image burn file, image burning to CD. Or you now you choose this right right file slash to folders to folders to disk. Now this Windows XP three extracted file you can make here the bootable then go to burning to dvd uh, sorry dd D cd so now choose this option then you will get this window here is click here the browse folder where 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 which where is your xp3 extract file you can choose that then i choose here my desktop windows xp sp3 extracted folder now okay then now need a now this only the non bootable now the load boot a boot file now go to there is advanced option and click the bootable disk option and click here to make image bootable file bootable no need change anything here click here here need a boot asking the boot image file this operating system booting file I need here to go to desktop and click the windows x psp3 no sorry not this and click here it's a boot file i told you before there is you will get the in things spot in wibli.com i have already here then you will extract here then you will get the option 
already there that's here windows xp windows xp boot file it's operating system booting file okay now it's okay it's boot file is ready no need change here click here to Right, type here to Microsoft Corporation developer ID and load segment no need change here or sector to load here also no need change use the 2 KB now everything is okay for your bootable bootable boot image file is ready for you ready for you burning everything is okay now just uh, go to the here device and click here and select here write speed write speed is low is very good for nice good writing so you can choose as your like is I, I choose 10 gray and you go to there and put inside the blank CD then you will get the option this option and then after you get the another option is okay okay then you will get the bootable windows xp bootable cd i have already this i done it you can you are you also you can also make your own windows xp3 bootable cd you can you, you will done it here thanks for watching i hope you will be like this video if you subscribe my channel you will get the more uh, more information about computer tips okay thanks for watching and subscribing subscribing see you next video bye take care